Speedway Engineering sway bar bent up. Got my pattern here. Bent this around to make sure that it clears the tires. About a two and a half inch section on the end where we can put like three holes on there. Be able to adjust the stiffness by moving the mounting in and out. I've been up, brought it over here to uh, test fit it. Worked out just like I was hoping. Bring them out for the end link up right here. Drop it down, put a couple positions on there so we can move it forward and back. It's gonna be really nice not having to run nuts on the back side of this, but man, this is a pain. <laughs> Finally. Okay, got my uh, mock-up pattern here. Moved it through the range of motion. The closest it's gonna to be to the control arm is gonna be at the, at the at full compression. So I've got my uh, control arm blocked up here. And uh, still got a good amount of clearance with this position. Top of the bracket's pretty well level. Go ahead. All right, got our first bracket mocked up on here. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> first side of our bracket mocked up on here. Checking the range of motion. Make sure we don't have any interference with the uh, control arm. With active suspension. All right, time to pull all this stuff out and get some final welding done on it. Matches side to side. We double checked all the measurements to make sure that we're right on on our ratios from driver's side to passenger side. 